Hello and welcome to another video of Christmas decor. And this one, oh, I'm so excited for Christmas, but this one is extra special. It is part one of two. In this video, we are kind of following up with another video, which I will link a card uh, to that one of Christmas decor that we got that is kind of Harry Potter inspired. Not necessarily Harry Potter shops, but shops that I think are accessible to um, uh, most people. Uh, shops like Target, and we've got Bath and Body Works, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, World Market, all sorts of places. But this one's extra special because we did a pretty big haul. This haul is going to, I don't know why I got so high pitched right there, this haul is going to be the kind of Christmas decor continuation inspired stuff. Um, after this video coming up will be a Harry Potter specific one because we hauled so much stuff because we rented a car. <laughs> and we rented a car, well, I'll get into it actually, on why we rented a car. Um, on Veterans Day, I had the day off and we booked a car and we hit up a whole bunch of places. So instead of telling you about it, let me roll some clips of that experience of shopping till we dropped, <laughs> almost, almost till the night. Um, hitting up every store. So here we go. Let's roll that footage and we will come back to the stuff we got. Hello and welcome to the inside of our rental car. We rented a car because we don't have one. Uh, we don't do it too often, maybe at least two times a year. We go out for Halloween season and get decor as we did this year, but we didn't record it. So we're recording it this time, but we're doing Christmas. So we've already gone to Joanne's, I'm saying with an S, yes and home goods and, and Walmart and maybe a couple other places. And we have a few things in the trunk and I plan to fill it up all the way, but we're looking for Christmas stuff. We're looking for Harry Potter stuff. I have some specific things on the list, but we'll just see what calls to me and maybe get some food. So we're at a mall right now. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go to many, I think, uh, like two or three. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go pop into this mall and see what we see. Also, <laughs> it's Veterans Day that we're recording. We happen to be vets. We did our time. Uh, and so I got a free coffee, which you can't really tell uh, that it's Starbucks. I'll get another one and I'll show you because they have their seasonal cups out right now. But I wanted to keep it warm and I've got my breakfast. I think they're some of the best potato chips, but I just wanted to show that off. So we have some, some free coffee and, and some, uh, some potato chips for breakfast. So now we're gonna go inside.
we just finished in that mall and I am very, very excited because we found a lot of Harry Potter stuff. I wouldn't say we found a lot in the Christmas department, but we have so many more places to go. I'm talking so fast because we found a lot and I'm excited. I hope there's more room in the trunk. <laughs> but this is why we rent a car. So uh, we're gonna hit a few more stores and then I think another mall. Alright, so we it's gone dark, if you can't tell, and we've hit up a lot of places and we have a lot of stuff. Um, a lot more Harry Potter we found. I wasn't able to show you everything. I did my best, but we are sat outside one of our favorite places to eat at, especially when we rent a car because it's a little more inaccessible um, via walking. I don't know why I do that. Um, and it is called Vertical Diner. So it is an all vegan um, diner. That's the word I'm looking for. So. Let's go in and get some grub. And we're back. As you can tell, we kind of finished up. It got really dark. We finished up with um, recording because it got really dark. So we are here with the stuff. And as a reminder, this is all Harry Potter inspired stuff, stuff that is supposed to hopefully feel more in world. And we are going to be doing another video of Harry Potter stuff. So to start, I'm going to begin with Marshall's, TJ Maxx. I don't know that I got anything from Ross, but they're kind of all the same thing. Oh, is Ross the same thing? I don't know. Home Goods is kind of the same thing as the three of them, but we'll, we're going to do Home Goods separately. So let's do TJ Maxx and Marshall's. First up, we have some pretty cozy stuff. We have a green blanket. Why green, you might ask? Hmm. Is there a particular house that screams green? I think Slytherin does. So we have got a Slytherin-y color, but no, we did not stop there. No, we did not. We got a Hufflepuff color and a Ravenclaw. And I'm very specific about the colors that we pick up. They really need to match. Let me lay them all out. All nice, floofy, oh, we're caught. We're caught. Blankets, here they are. Do, do, do. And if you remember from the previous Harry Potter inspired items, Christmas items, we had got, can we do this? This gorgeous royal Gryffindor red blanket. So we now have, my word, all four houses. Are you kidding me? I am so excited. I did not think, oh my lordy, I did not think, and they're so soft. And as you know, I'm a highly sensitive person, so I'll love me some soft things. I didn't think I was gonna be doing color, 
but my husband said let's let's really represent all of the houses and i was like okay let's do it and as soon as i saw them the blue is just very very it's not a bright blue it's a very royal blue everything in harry potter is very royal like the golds uh, or the yellows are more of a goldy color um anyway so we got some blankets we've got every house represented and the last bit from i didn't really get a lot from marshall's and TJ Maxx. Actually, I'm gonna throw in one Kohl's item. So we have a pair of socks. Very Christmassy. I tried to keep it pretty traditional, simple. Um, and it's a nice like burgundy red. So it gives me Gryffindor vibes. It's not a Harry Potter sock, but we already opened some Harry Potter socks. I'll attach that as well in a card. And then we have, I don't have a lot of like Christmassy pajamas or anything like that. I have some I'm waiting to come in as far as like a Christmas, Christmas clothes. Um, but I saw these and this was at Kohl's and it's so soft and it just, I'm a, I'm like, I'm an all black kind of girl, but I love me some gray too. I will be adding a bit more red and gold and kind of all the colors, maybe not blue <laughs> into my wardrobe, but I just love this. It gave me sort of Patronusy vibes. Let me show you up close the deer and you know, you've got snowflakes and all that jazz and it was a whole set so i have the pajamas i will probably be wearing those in the video and then the last thing that we got from marshall's is this absolutely adorable how much was it 7.99 owl a wooden i don't know why i needed to tap on it for some good luck <laughs> knock on knock on an owl um is this adorableness and i like to bring in some kind of woody colors and a real natural vibe so i thought this was perfect got that at Marshall's. Next up is a little less like Harry Potter inspired, although I'm going to point out the ones that are, is Bath and Body Works. So let's show off the soaps first, because these Halloween people got me hooked on their foamy soaps. Their scents, I mean, I don't love all of their candle scents, but I did find some, so we will show you those. So I've got quite a few. We have, where is this one? Gingerbread Bakery, love it. Um, bright Christmas Morning, I thought you can't go wrong with red, that would fit in well to a theme. Then these three kind of really did give me Harry Potter vibes. I don't know why this one did because it's like a little wolf, but this is First Snow, let me smell it. Just got it all over my face. It's a little on the soapy side. I guess I'm not selling that one very well. Um, this one, because it kind of felt, I mean, it's like a, it's a deer and it is winter candy apple. I love me anything apple-y. Oh, I love it. And it's red. Um, but the last one, as far as soaps go, that gave me Harry Potter vibes and you'll probably see why. And it's just because of the, um, image is this frosted cranberry. Of course, it gives me like a Ford Anglia vibe with a Christmas tree on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, frosted cranberry. Oh, that's just lovely. That one's very Christmassy to me. Okay, and then we picked up some candles. I'm gonna save two for last that I feel as far as the aesthetic fit into Harry Potter. I got, my husband was hooked on this one and so am I, cinnamon sugared pecans. Are you kidding me? I love it. I will say, as uh, somebody else noted in my Halloween one, the Bath and Body Works ones do tend to burn pretty quickly, um, but not as quickly as the home goods ones that tend to be more oil-based. Anything that's a little more oil-based is gonna burn quicker. Okay, this one is a lot cheerier, um, but it has like a candy cane look to it, and it is snowy peach berry. Like, if you could, if you could smell this one. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a fan of a lot of their candle scents or just a lot of their scents in general, but I dug this, mind the noises, that's an upcoming item. Then we have this perfect Christmas with a little Santa face on top. I didn't want to do too much Santa stuff because there really isn't a Santa in Harry Potter, um, Because, but because the lids can kind of come off and white, oh, what is this one? It's a very sweet smell, almost a little bit woodsy, but more on the sweet side. Really like it. Okay, then these last two items sort of aesthetically gave me Harry Potter vibes. And I don't know, for some reason, this one like gave me Patronus slash Luna Lovegood vibes. 
and I don't know if it's just because of the sweetness of the wolves or the color palette. It is cinnamon caramel swirl. I grew up with um, cinnamon buns being the thing we had every morning for Christmas. So that just like brings it home for me. And then this one absolutely gave me Harry Potter vibes. Um, and you'll see why. And it's called Winter. And it's just a smaller candle with a little white owl. A little Hedwig. Anytime I see a little white owl, you know, I just think a Hedwig. And I noticed them all over the place. So that is Bath and Body Works. Okay, so the next section I think we're going to do is going to be Home Goods, which again, Home Goods is kind of in line with TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I feel like their kind of quality level is a, is a touch higher. I don't know. I tend to find more stuff there, but I enjoy going to all three of them. Um, so let's start with the most basic item that I think fits in, and that is another candle because <laughs> I can't help myself. but. When I, when I get candles, I do often like to think, especially if they're in something, they have a candle holder, um, is like them being multi-purpose. And I thought this one would be a very multi-purpose. It is the, the Sand and Fog brand, which is one of my favorite brands. It burns really nicely. And this one's Pine and Eucalyptus, which fits because it's a little tree and it's green. So it can be a trinket tray after we burn it. Um, I've also done some candle making, so I can also fill that in if I would like. And then we have, let's see, what's the order? We have a pillow. I mean, you could see it in the corner, so let me show you. We have, I wanted to get some kind of basic pillows and I will link everything down below as much as I can. I don't have prices on everything. If you click the links, you'll find them. I know not everything will be linkable. Um, I don't remember how much, it was probably like $10, but I thought this green really fit in with a Slytherin vibe. And we got a, a more Harry Pottery pillow that will be upcoming in a Harry Potter specific haul that I think it, this one pairs really well with it. So, and it's like super squishy and actually supportive, not just a decorative pillow. So let's just chuck that one. And then another pillow that I just died. I just about died when I saw it. Cause as you know, I love me some black and I was trying to figure out how to fit black in. I mean, black can always fit in, but um, to, to, to still be kind of wintry. And I saw these at Home Goods. It may have been my husband that saw them, but either way, had to get them. And they are pillows and they're a set of two and they are these gorgeous black pillows with, um, it's kind of like a white silvery, let me show you up close, you know, snowflakey business going on there, but there's two of them. So the back of it is just a basic, um, it, it's like, a, it feels like crushed, like a crushed velvet. Is crushed a thing? A velvet, both sides. It is so soft. Um, I always opt for the non-down. Um, we don't do feathers in this house. I'm getting, <laughs> um, and, uh, and it's very supportive. It's just like a cotton inside. And there's two of them, so we can have a nice balance on like both sides of the couch. So we've got quite a few pillows because we need to swap out the Halloween stuff. And then we have, let's see, this item right here, which gives me Yule Ball vibes. So it is like a, it's a treat, Aubrey, <laughs> but it's made of glass. It is heavy duty. I forget how much this one was, maybe like 15 or $20. Um, the Dolly, that sounds very fancy. The Vidali co Collection. It sounds like a Vivaldi. Isn't Vivaldi a brand? I don't know brand names. I'm not a brand name gal, okay? Um, unless it's Harry Potter. <laughs> but it just felt very Yule Ball-y. It does have a little star on top. I don't know why I'm like shoving everything over here. Here, look over to this side. <laughs> uh, and I just, I'm a Niffler, okay? I'm a Niffler. It's why I've got lights in the background. Um, and gold and shiny things, but look at the shimmer. I love it. You don't even need to move it. You just move yourself and it just shimmers. Okay, then the next item is a snow globe. And I really, really, really want the Patronus snow globe that Pottery Barn sells, but good God, Pottery Barn, can you drop the prices? I'm hoping for some Black Friday deals. Um, that one and the Dementor, which they're really cool. The Dementors are kind of like moving around. I think they actually move. Um, but the Patronus one with the stag in the trees, 
So this is the closest thing I could get to that and be pretty cheap. And I think this was like $9.99 um, at Home Goods. And it is this snow globe right here, which has three trees in it with a little star, which gave me like Great Hall tree vibes. It's a very basic base, but, but the trees are lit up. And when I bought it, okay, I turned it on and music also came on and I was like, no! I turned it on and I was like, we can't be having this music, come on. And there was no option to, to not have the music and just have the lights. So we actually detached the bass and cut the music so that just the lights work. So here we go, let's hope. And we did learn that these things are not well made. Home goods, improve your snow globes, please. Especially if you're gonna put lights inside. Um, but there are lights wrapped around the trees. So here we go. It's a little finicky. It's so pretty. I love this star. It gives me just like, um, there we go. <laughs> Gotta get that ring light in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I thought to not be dropping the price tag that are the ones at Pottery Barn, which I do want, uh, that was a more affordable option and still feel kind of like Harry Potter. -y. Then I got, you just can't go wrong with trees, okay? You saw in the first haul of Harry Potter inspired items, in-world items, um, that I got a lot of trees. But this one, I just couldn't pass up. It is a reed diffuser and it's a tree. My God, this one was $12.99. So I have the price tag on that one there. And it's by the Sand and Fog brand that does um, the candles. And what is the scent? Inspired on the California coast. Uh, it does not say, so I'm gonna guess it's, oh yes it does, blue, blue eucalyptus and fir. We love eucalyptus and um, any tree scent. The two together do really well. I do that a lot as like a essential oil diffuser. And then the last item that I got from Home Goods is one of the most recent ones that I got. And I sent a photo because I went there by myself. It was a nearby one. I sent a photo to my husband because I wasn't sure because it's a bit bigger. I wanted one of these and you'll see what I, I have seen these in Harry Potter subscription boxes, but smaller. And I wanted one that was bigger, but this one was significantly bigger. And when I sent the photo to my husband, he was like, get it. And it was on clearance. It was on clearance for, I think, like $12. And it is oh God, a scale like are you kidding me? I can't even get it in frame. It's so big. <laughs> and uh, no, $18, not $12, but still on clearance. The original price was like 40. So sure. Um, made in India. It's very lightweight. And what we're hoping is over time, we don't have any Harry Potter coins, um, but I hope to sort of get coins over time and have them on there. Maybe have a little Niffler nearby, a little Bemmy guys. We'll see when we do some Christmas um, decorating that I'm so excited to do. Uh, but, you know, maybe fill it up with a lot of like green gutsy things. So I think I know where this is gonna go. At first when I was like questioning picking it up, I wasn't sure where it would go. So, my God. So that was Home Goods. Next up is Michaels. We hit up a lot of Michaels and a lot of Joanne as always, but I actually didn't pick up anything from Joanne, but we did in the previous haul. So here is some Michael, here are some Michael things, grammar Aubrey. First up, I couldn't pass this up and I have a couple, I have two versions of this. Um, and it's this gorgeous, well, how do I keep doing that? Snowflake ornament, very sparkly. It's, it's um, beaded. And I have ones that don't have these little ends here, but they just come straight out. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking a lot of things like maybe hanging off a garland, um, maybe actually being an ornament. I'm not sure, but I got quite a few of those. I've just got um, two right here, but they give me Yule Ball vibes. Anything that's very um, glassy, silver, um, blue, all very Yule Ball-y. So had to pick that up. Then the last item I picked up, I also found out if you're watching this and you're a veteran, Michael's does 15% off. I didn't know that. So I both used a coupon and 15% off. I'll save me some money. And this one I only spent like $7 on. And it's this lantern, which as you saw in my Halloween haul, we did 
um, or many Halloween hauls, we did a few lanterns and I couldn't pass up a basic. They brought out the gold this year. Everywhere is bringing out the gold. Um, and it's just a basic lantern. Let's see if we can open that puppy. So we will probably just be, I don't know, either putting this outside. I don't know what, but probably putting a candle inside is what I'm thinking. So we got that. And then the last things that I got from Michael's were stuff for our village, which if you would see, we're going to throw up another card here. The Department 56 haul, we got a whole bunch of Harry Potter village items. So I needed more of the accessories, but these aren't Department 56. They are Michael's. So I got some basic trees. And there we are, some snowy trees. I got some road. I don't know quite what I'm gonna do with this one. So we have like a brick road and more of a black road. There you are. And then this one, some items already fell out, so mind it. And actually this one I got at Walmart. It's the only thing I got at Walmart, I think. Um, but it fits in here. So mind that a few things fell out, but we've got some benches, some tiny little trees. It's a little hard to see. Um, some lamp posts, fences. It's all going to fit in, like some filler stuff. And we're going to be adding more filler stuff over the years. Then we have um, these lamp posts that are very Christmassy. They have a little um, Christmas um, wreath on them. And I believe they light up. The tiny little light on the inside of the top there lights up. And then we've got a few animals. So I have this adorable little deer licking a snowman but that snowman has a scarf on and so I thought what I would do which is similar to what I think I might do with a couple things that I mentioned in the other haul is paint the scarf to be one of the house scarves so maybe I go with just Gryffindor because it's already red I'm not sure but I just I thought it was adorable you know deer just give me like Patronus vibes it's an animal a lot of animals can fit into Harry Potter and so I got some more deer so we have these guys here as well just some basic some basic deer there they are up close and then the last village item oh my god i haven't seen this anywhere else and it is a let's not drop it i've got it plugged in because i want to show it to you lit up it is a christmas tree and what i loved about this christmas tree so it has the yellow star on top and it's got like every color house on here. You've got blue bulbs, green bulbs, red bulbs, and gold, um, which, you know, not yellow, but really the yellow of Hufflepuff is more of a goldy color. But, but, wow, we got loud. It lights up. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh my God, I love it. And there are multiple settings. So there's that one where it just varies up. And this is the Limax brand, just like a lot of this other stuff here. So I can press the button or just have it like solid like that. I love it. Now, is it a great haul Christmas tree? No, but I'm not planning on putting it inside Hogwarts because I can't, I can't put it inside Hogwarts, not the um, Department 56 one. This is gonna be like an outside tree and I kind of imagine there probably would be one. Um, so I think it fits in. Um, and then the last item that I got from Michael's is not for the village. I just saw it and I thought Harry Potter and I couldn't pass up. And I will say I already have some of these in red, but they're not the sticks. Um, but I couldn't pass this up because of the colors, which are wax. What do they call them? Sealing wax. Uh, because I'm gonna be doing a lot of wax seals, okay? And we've got like Hufflepuff represented, Slytherin represented, and Gryffindor. And to be quite honest, I, of course I'm honest, I'm always honest. I'm keeping it real here, I am not a huge fan of blue. And obviously Ravenclaw's blue. So this was my perfect selection. Thank you very much. I'll probably be doing more blues because I did see Pottery Barn drop some stuff that is like hard to resist, okay? And they're very blue. Um, so maybe they'll be in a future video. But that was Michael's. So next up is Target. I got a variety of things at Target. Some of them I've already had, um, but most not. And they really pulled out the Christmas um, this year. So let's start with, in the previous video, I got three tiny stockings for my cats from Target. 
and finally found the initials for me and my husband. Obviously I'm Aubrey, so my initial is A. My husband is Matt, so his initial is M. So I found these too. And the pet ones were white with a red, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Monogram, <laughs> um, embroidered monogram on them. I do feel like eventually we would probably go with more of a hand knit Weasley vibe, but I feel like this is close enough. I mean, a Weasley um, sweater is is like, it's knit, it's, it's red. So it's very bright, this one, um, compared to like the blankets that we picked up that are more Gryffindory, but we will make it work. I think it works. Um, so there you go, stockings. And then I picked up, these are ones that I've already had. I picked up a whole bunch of star ornaments. Let me see if I can detach one. They're kind of all attached. And these were in the, these were $3 each in the Wonder Shop collection um, with the ornaments kind of in the back corner holiday area. So here is it up close. Now I already have these and what I did is I got I think a prettier gold color spray paint and I spray painted, I removed this, spray painted them gold and made them ornaments because as you probably know, the Great Hall tree has stars on it. Um, and so I got more because we will eventually be doing two trees, not this year, um, but eventually. And we might be using it on one more item. So I picked up some more of those. This item is kind of basic, but I thought it was really pretty and it's part of the Threshold collection. This was $10. And I think it's meant to be like a cup that you would drink out of, but it's got a very rough edge. So I'm not intending to use it as a cup. It's got some gorgeous like gold kind of glittery look to it, very celebratory. Um, but I think I'm gonna put something in it and have it like come out, obviously. <laughs> obviously, where else would it go? Um, so I think like a little vase. Then I got a little cozy item, nothing Harry Pottery about it, but I couldn't resist these tiny little, I was gonna say snow people, um, polar bears, these tiny little polar bears. It's my color palette, it's a gray, it's light, it's adorable, I love it. Um, then we're gonna get into some of my favorite items toward the end of this Target haul. We have a candle, which is Apple Cinnamon Joy. There she is but I just thought the edge was really pretty. I thought the color was very red, um, uh, Gryffindor red. Again, we're always going for the Gryffindor reds. I don't think, like I said, the stocking is very different. It's much brighter, but I don't know. I'm holding it up and I feel like it plays off of it just fine. So don't sweat the small stuff as they say. All right, then another basic item we got are these um, heavy duty dew drop lights for a wreath because we'll be doing a wreath coming up in the near future. We pick that up. Then I didn't have any of these and I saw, now these are both from Target and Walmart, but because they're kind of the same thing, I thought I'd put them side by side. And this was in the Wonder Shop as well. So these were $3 each and it's just a basic gold beaded garland. Um, because I have a few trees, one regular size one and a couple not, which I showed you those in that haul. I wanted to get even more, which I got these. They're slightly different from each other, but still gold. And these ones were from Walmart, but I just want to put those on the tree. It's going to look pretty. Then for funsies, everything's for funsies. Um, not necessarily Harry Pottery, but it, it's a snowflake. And if you remember from the Halloween one, we got, which one did we get? We got a Halloween version of this. So when it came out, the Christmas ones, we got the mini waffle maker, or sorry, yeah, waffle maker. It looks like a pancake. We could try a pancake. Um, snowflake, it's so cute. It really is mini. These things are like quite small. Um, I, even I didn't realize it until I pulled the other one out. Okay, the last two items from Target. Um, one of them is a basic uh, doormat. Nothing Harry Pottery about it, but I thought the colors will really fit in. I love black. You know that. So we have this one here that says, welcome to our home. Um, and I, I just, I've seen a lot of like very, very Christmassy, like very Santa-y, 
and a lot of them very cute but they don't fit into harry potter however i did get a harry potter doormat this one's going to go outside uh we will be showing that doormat off that i freaking love um in a harry potter haul coming up so that one's going to go outside and then the last item that i got i couldn't pass up I tell you, every time I see a color that fits into Harry Potter, I cannot pass up. And that is a bathrobe. Look at this gorgeous red from Target. Oh my God, it's dreamy. It is like the perfect Gryffindor red. I saw it and I was like, Matt, please, I have to, I have to. <laughs> and he's a bad influence. He just says yes. So we got it. Because I'll tell you, I only kind of like the ones from Pottery Barn. I really like the Hufflepuff one, which is the black one, but I did think that if I wanted to make this even more Harry Pottery, I can get a like um, Gryffindor patch and have that sewn on. Um, but I just think the color is just beautiful. I have a black one as well, so I just think it will just be nice and cozy and it will pop in Christmas time. So there you have it. That was Target. Okay, and the last section is kind of um, world market slash miscellaneous, just some random places because we hit up a lot of places. And like I said, this haul was huge and the bulk of it was Harry Potter specific stuff. So I'm so excited to show you those. Um, so let me get into world market. We've got a few basic items. We have some hand soap holders, dispensers, is that the word? Yes. Um, with really nice smell, but I just went for like a classy look. So we have a nice green, we've got the golds. I think it will fit in. I can always take other soaps and obviously fill them up and reuse it. So I thought that fit in very nicely. Um, and then I got this gorgeous candle. This is all still from World Market. How much was this? $20. And it's got the, you know, berries and just greenery inside the candle. And a lot of these candles, this really surprised me, a lot of these candles, here's kind of an up close, don't have a scent to them. Like I've seen these at Joann's, no scent to them. This one does, I don't, does it say on here? Fresh fallen snow, filled with notes of winter, air, fir, peppermint, juniper, frosted woods, and musk. It really, it has like a woodsy berry smell to it. It's divine. I don't know if I'm gonna burn it. I don't, I, I don't know if I could bring myself to burn it. It's just gorgeous. Um, so there you go. Then the last item that I got from World Market is a little noisy. Hold on one second. It is this kind of garland, this gorgeous moon garland. Here, let me. So we've got the moon of phases. We've got a full moon and then it transitions all the way down. So pretty. I'm trying to see how much this is. $15. That's not bad. World Market has some pretty reasonable prices. But this, look at it. Look at you can I mean you could call it a chime even if you wanted. It, it kind of is more of a chime. Um, but it will be a nice accent just in the house. Okay. Alright, so then the next item I got from, let's see, um, Whole Foods. And it's a candle. And it is I don't believe this is actually honey in this candle, but it is a honey uh, scent, honey roasted chestnut. I hope not. Um, Patty wax, soy candle. I, I didn't like really get it for the aesthetic, although I don't mind that. And um, acorns give me Luna Lovegood vibes because that's what's on her first wand. But the smell is probably one of my favorite candle smells I've come across, like period. Um, and that is by, like I said, Patty wax. Speaking of acorns, I saw this at Anthropology. I went into Anthropology. Okay, it's it's yeah, it's a thing. I couldn't pass this up. It's an acorn candle, an acorn candle, and it has a scent. It's very very woodsy, almost like a fir, but it's just adorable. And like I said, Luna Lovegood's first wand um, has acorns on it, so I think it fits in. And then I have two more items, again, from random places. This one's from a local grocery store and they are just napkins, um, but they're by the brand, I think they're by the brand Danica. Yeah, Now Designs Danica. And I have a few of the, the designs from that brand. I really love the style, I love the design. And I just thought this one was very Christmassy. It's a very bright red, but I don't care. And then the last one I got from 
um, I think it was from Fuego, which is a company um, often found in malls. It's in our mall. And it's a little thing that says, every day spells for busy witches. I love the woodsy look. So it says, make magic in the little things. Um, seek inspiration and manifest your wishes with this deck of quick and simple spells. How freaking adorable. And we will be getting into more, you know, magical making and spell casting and all those things as I learn myself and experiment. Um, but we are witches through and through. So we'll be doing that 50 enchanting insight cards. Just beautiful. Love the illustration. Um, but there you go. <laughs> it was a hole of holes. Okay. Um, and that was, that was everything that is like Harry Potter inspired. This will probably be our last one. I think might have one more. Um, once we like put the decor up and see if we need to get a few more bits, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show you the Harry Potter haul. Um, that we got from renting the car that day. I'm not kidding when I say we hit the jackpot on finding Harry Potter stuff and just Christmas stuff and all the things. Um, but there you go. I hope that has given you some ideas, um, inspiration, all the things for anything Harry Potter that will fit into um, maybe not even just Christmas, but definitely Christmas. Um, but with that, Remember, my dear magical friends, to love everything. Love everything you love. Love all the things. <laughs> love what you love with everything that you have. And keep making magic. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.